Welcome to a presentation of McDougall et al.'s 8th grade textbook oh, yeah. from Chapter 1, Section 3, entitled Variables and Expressions. I have two definitions today. First one is the definition of a variable, a symbol that represents one or more numbers. A symbol that represents one or more numbers. And a variable expression. A variable expression consists of numbers, variables, and operations. Consists of numbers, variables, and operations. Today's section is really basic arithmetic. We're looking at solving very basic problems and also writing very basic problems. But we'll start with the story problem in example one. The story problem in example one says that a tutor charges $10 for his services and $15 for every hour worked. Find the amount charged for one half, one, and two hours of work. The first thing they want you to do is write a variable expression. What they're really asking you to do there is, how would I solve the problem in a general sense? Or in other words, write me an equation with a variable that I could solve in every single part. Well, take a look at the problem. The very first thing we're told in this problem is that the tutor gets $10 no matter how long they're there. Okay? They could be there for 30 seconds and they're going to make at least $10. Okay? So the first thing we always have is the $10. And then the second part of the story problem says that he's also going to make $15 for every hour work. So if I said to you, if he worked for seven hours, what problem would you solve to find the amount he's going to make over seven hours? 10 times 7? Seven? seven hours. Fifteen dollars an hour. Seven times fifteen? Seven times fifteen. Okay. If I said to you they work for nine hours, what problem would you do? What times what? Fifteen times nine. Fifteen times nine. So in a general sense, we're multiplying fifteen by the number of hours worked. And that's what we're going to add into this. Plus. 15 now, what the book does in this problem, and you don't have to do it in the homework tonight, but I'm going to do it in this problem because that's the way they suggest I do it, is they set up a table. The first thing they have on the left side there is H, the number of hours they tell you in the problem, 1 half, 1 and 2. The next box is for 15 H. In that box, they want you to multiply h by 15. So in the first box there, we have to find out what half of 15 is. What's half of 15? 7.5 or $7.50. Good. Fifteen times one. Fifteen or fifteen dollars. Good. And then in the last box, 15 times 2, that'd be 30 or $30. Now what they want you to do in the last box is now finish it by adding in the 10. So in this box, we put the 10 plus 15H. Now as I said before, most of you probably will not do it this way. Most of you will probably just go right to figure it out. You're not going to do the H thing and then add in the 10 later on. And that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Okay? So add 10 into the 750 for me. 1750. 1750. So if he tutors for a half hour, he makes $17.50. Which sadly is, I think, more than I make. Okay. All right. If he tutors for an hour, add $10 to that. $25. And if he tutors for two hours, $40. $40. Wow, that's rich. Uh -huh. Now, all right. Now, there is a follow up question here, which says, How much would two, two and a half hour sessions cost? How much would two? 
two and a half hour sessions cost. All right. So we've got the expression 10 plus 15H. In this problem, what is H going to become? 2.5. Good. So I've got to do 10 plus 15 times 2.5. Okay, so 15 times 2 and a half happens to be 37.5, I'll figure it out for you, or $37.50. And I have to add in the 10, and that's going to give me 47.50. $47 now that's just one two and a half hour session. So remember, I still have to multiply this by two, two to account for the fact that there's two sessions occurring here. And that's going to give me a grand total of $95. What you don't want to do in this problem is say, well, if I'm working two, two and a half hour sessions, that just makes five hours. So I'm just going to change H to five. Okay? You're going to get it wrong. Well, why? Remember, he makes $10 just for showing up in the door. If you count it as one big five hour session, that's like you only went in once. So you're going to end up being $10 short. You have to add in that $10 for each time they walk in the door. Okay. Let's go to example two. 